The road ascended, then dropped almost vertically to where Jean Street crossed itself, a pair of jeans, and there lay fertile ground behind an entranceway marked by Corinthian columns, a hidden gem of the north, the Morcom Amphitheater of Roses. Behind the columns stood redwoods and pine, sheltering a prodigious bed of roses, rising up in concentric circles of steps. Hendricks had disappeared straight into the garden, up her aromatic alley to a great amphitheater and reflecting pool before it, with roses encompassing probably 50 yards in every direction but one, hundreds of varieties, and a mother of the year walk with names engraved in the ground recognizing the matriarchs of Oakland going back all the way to World War II. And there were even two wild turkeys I soon met who lived unmolested there all year round, even in November. All plant and wildlife were under protective spells of Anne, the matriarch of Alta Vista, whose powers pervaded and cultivated the scene. What a refuge. Even the squirrels were fat and happy. And fountains cascading down at a 30 degree angle from top to bottom and up top some benches all in a circle where one might see couples holding hands, people relaxing, flautists and guitarists and singers, little kids chasing up and down the bushes and vines and roses cascading just on either side of the man-made waterfall down to the little framed brick edifice which held the latrines. There at the base of the waterfall lay the emerald reflecting pool, which held just the right amount of afternoon light and gave away the rest.